What's up guys, it's Taneli here and in today's quick tutorial I will show you how I blend colors on Microsoft Paint. I talked about this a bit in my tutorial on how to paint photorealism on Microsoft Paint, but I thought it deserved its own video and that way it would also be easier to find for anyone searching for this exact topic. The way I'm going to do this is that first I will explain the method that I like to use and then I will show you a more efficient and a faster way to do it with the quick access toolbar. So in order to blend colors we first need a brush that is partly transparent which means that it will blend with whatever is underneath it. There are a few brushes on Microsoft Paint that are like this but I personally prefer to use the natural pencil brush the most. So let's start by selecting the natural pencil brush. Now let's make the brush a bit bigger so it's easier to see. I like to change the brush sizes by holding down Ctrl key and then pressing either the plus or minus sign on the keyboard numpad. Now the way that natural pencil brush works is that when you click to make a single brush stroke the color will be a mix of your selected color and the color underneath it. So in this case since I have black color selected and use it on a white canvas the brush stroke will be gray. If I make another brush stroke on top of my previous one the color will get darker and darker and darker. So here we can already see some blending from grey towards black which is the basis of this technique. However it's still far from perfect so let's add some colors to the mix and add another step to the technique. First I select a red color from the color palette and paint a fully red box with it. Next I select a blue color from the palette and paint a blue box next to the red one. Now in order to make a smooth blending transition from the red to blue we are going to start by making a single stroke with the blue color over the red box where the colors touch each other. Then we are going to select the color picker tool and click on the color we just made between the red and blue. Now we are going to repeat this process by drawing a line between the color we just selected and the red color. And then we repeat this again until we made a rough transition from blue to red. Now as you can see this method is rather time consuming since we have to move our cursor all the way to select the color picker every time we want to blend. So to make this process much faster and more enjoyable let's start setting up some quick access tools to the toolbar. You can find the quick access tools on the top bar and by default it should have save, undo and redo buttons. You can add any tool to the toolbar by right clicking on it and then selecting the option add to quick access toolbar. So let's add all the basic tools except for the color picker. Once I have 8 places filled on the quick access toolbar I finally include the color picker to the slot number 9. It's important for this method to have the color picker on a high number slot so it's easier to access by using just one hand. Now that we have the tool set on the quick access toolbar we can change between them by pressing F10 on our keyboard and then the number assigned to each tool. So in our case we press F10 and then number 9 on our keyboard to select the color picker tool. After selecting the color with the color picker tool Microsoft Paint will automatically switch to your previously used tool which should be the natural pencil brush. Now we can blend the colors much faster using the process I showed earlier but using the quick access toolbar to prevent us from having to move our mouse when selecting between color picker and the brush. So let's make a smooth blend. It will take a little bit of practice to get comfortable with this but once you do you can paint literally anything using just Microsoft Paint. So that's it for this quick tutorial. If you found it helpful, do consider clicking that like button and leaving a comment to help me with the YouTube algorithm. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Paint, make sure to check out the other tutorials on my channel. That being said, I want to thank you for watching and see you next time.